So I want to let you know, I know we don't typically introduce the players um, uh, till a little later, but we have one player playing under a pseudonym. Um, he has risen fight some crime, but he's actually, oh my god, a banana from <laughs> Team um, team uh, Sloth Esports. So he, he's on both teams, so we let him play since Sloth did not participate in the season. So just throwing that out there for anyone who's wondering who this guy is. Um, he is. Oh my god, a banana. Yes. Oh my god, a banana. Yes, uh, indeed. I, 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 and he's I got kind of a reputation in the North American community, believe it or not. So okay. a lot of players uh, will recognize you. him. Okay, I believe you. I, I really like the style of some people mm -hmm. uh, of kind of mm -hmm. choosing their, their nicknames because some are just mm -hmm. like, they, they, they fit the class. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you think like, oh, what the hell, this is so funny, I can't even just play right now. Yeah. Why is my game frozen? Oh, it, it's not frozen. Uh, we, we were hitting the one and a half minute mark and it did, uh, you were telling oh, the story, so right. I just went ahead and paused it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I lost my point anyway. Oh, you're but, fine. Uh, well, uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and hit the, uh, the Starcraft. Scene. All right, cool deal. We are in game. Double checking that because I forgot in one of the other games. All right, so here on the top left hand side of Ascension to Iron, the yellow trunks. He plays for Team Risen. He is definitely the best player on that team. He's known as Oh my God, a banana! But we know him as Fight Some Crime. <laughs> it's the banana which is going to fight some crime. I would. Oh my God! <laughs> I just had the uh, like image of like a guy in a banana suit like. Shutting um, down everything. Banana man. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, indeed. Justice. Uh, yeah. Well, in the bottom right corner, it's a Darren from Sysom Gaming. He is, well, maybe from the thrift shop. It's Sugar. Yes. And this dude is up to cheese. He's already building a proxy factory in the middle. Uh, yeah, in the top right. Middle? Top middle, yeah. Here? Top middle it sounds awkward, but top. it might Just be say awkward. Top. <laughs> no, that would be too easy. That could be a hard time for fights for fights of crime. Okay, twelve o'clock. I can live with that. Okay. Fights of crime is getting an early Twilight Council, maybe for resonating lives. Or uh, no, Dark Shrine <gasps> is coming down. Oh, what is this game? Cheese on cheese. We've the got the problem. The problem is the the Terran will hit with his timing. Way, way, way before the DT shrine is even finished. Well, we also have a proxy starport, so while we will see proxy widow mines, that's just, a little just weird. Build, just build everything proxy. No, uh, maybe. I, I, I think we'll just go for Liberator, maybe. It's Did you? The game. That Reaper just saw the Dark Shrine. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, look at the vision of Shipper. He knows it's coming. Oh, oh, this is bad stuff for the Protoss. Dude, I don't even know much about this matchup, and I know that's bad for the Protoss. But if anyone can handle it, it is Fight Some Crime. Now, of course, Sugar is team captain of Psystorm Gaming. So yet again, we see Psystorm. But he is a scouted team team captain. Everybody yes. knows. Yes. I mean, he could, he could emerge Archon still, which is not too bad, but... Uh, the surprise effect of the dark of the, of the DTs is not there. And as I already told you, there's one medevac and then there's Liberator as follow-up. What you gonna do with DTs? Come on, they get stuck in the way and then it's over. Two Widow Mines coming in, Overcharge is used by the Mothership Core and it's it's working, but the drones are kind of stacking up right there. Yeah, pr five probes lost, but... Uh, not too much. Not too I'm, much, I'm is it worth... Is it worth a whole widow mine and well, obviously a second one as well? I've seen, I've seen worse uh, connects uh, to be <gasps> honest, but but <gasps> the liberator coming up now it would be Dude. far a bigger problem. It did these just did do nothing. Well, that widow mine actually forcing some more probes <gasps> to be pulled off. He has no vision. He has no. Uh, <laughs> he's yes. just building the observer right now, uh -huh. and it doesn't kill a liberator. This. His next problem, he can't just mine there. No. He has no. a natural stalker skin. I don't know. Uh, is he? He's he's trying to like 
force this liberator off, but that liberator is in like the perfect place. So he's going to have to like be very, very careful. He does send the first oh, stalker that's in. So expensive. Here's oh. another one. Oh, huge pickup there by Sugar. Holy. Um, and look at the natural. Another Widow Mine drop is going. Not doing too much damage, but uh, he is frequently losing workers right here. This is. I mean, this is nine already. The he lost quite some army, and uh, yes, but he does have his production in a really awkward position. If ever fight some crime gets out of his own base, this proxy could definitely cost sugar in the end. But I don't know. I don't know. With it being a very close worker count, I feel like not enough damage has quite been done. But. Still he enough? needs to stop the dropping uh, right now mm -hmm. because there are too many stalkers. Uh, he can counter the, those middle mines uh, pretty easy. Mm -hmm. And uh, since Blink is on the way, the, the time window has just closed for uh, this yeah. strategy. I think Sugar, it, it's going to come down to how he transitions. Yes, he's With a done. Third? Yeah. Is he doing. Oh, I was. For a sh short moment, I was assuming he's doing. Uh, double expansion but he's just building the third and, mm -hmm. and this main and, and we building actually, another star pot. We actually have a Dark Templar on the opposite side of the map but he's just not been able to go in because of this missile turret. What he's doing is just you know shutting down this third base and that Dark Templar a little out of position. That Pelon is going to fall but the uh... He gets quite some kills. Actually, it's like breakfast for a DT. That's yeah. value. Yeah, um, so the Dark Templar a little late there, does clean up the Marines, that pylon takes a lot Another of extra- Another two big hits of Widow Mines in the main of Sugar, he just killed 14 probes right there. <gasps> oh my god, I wish I'd caught that on the Observer Cam, I was a little bit distracted, but it's okay. Um, fight, g good pick up there man, I'm glad you caught that. So, yeah. at this point, who exactly is ahead? Not the Protoss. Uh, he, is, he is behind 12 workers. Okay, mm -hmm. he has his third up, mm -hmm. but um, I I don't see him. Uh, I mean, look at this. Those Marines will get 1-0 in mm -hmm. a few seconds. Uh, Stim is almost finished. He has the attack for, uh, for Medivex, and this gives him a lot of value, and I don't, I don't know if um, Link Stalkers are good enough against that. You know, I honestly wonder if Penguin uh, intentionally had Sugar train, like, to snipe fights and crime for this event. Um, because, like, these guys have a history together, like, at Cheezadelphia and stuff like that. So, if anyone could have prepared a special build for fights and crime, it's this guy. Yeah, uh... <laughs> well, uh, at this point, I, I guess when I would have been playing, I would always already have flown my my buildings back to the base or a place mm -hmm. some more safe uh, the problem here is the Terran still has to be careful because uh, four sentries are there and mm -hmm. if you split up those marines the power is almost gone to nothing they don't have combat shields uh, just yet so um, this army is still pretty small if things hit the fan uh, mm -hmm. you have to be ready to pick up the rest and just get out of there. Otherwise, you just lose too much. And uh, talking of losing, two adepts are just uh, poking through the third of Sugar. <gasps> Great blink there and takes out one of the medevacs. Second medevac, very, very bruised. Good force fields. Really great guardian shield there. Does kill off most of the main army. By sh or fight some crime, Sugar's army has been obliterated. Whoa. Uh, well, a sizable sure. chunk of it. Well, I don't know why the Marines were just standing there in the back, like, uh, you know, in the yeah. back of the theater, just clapping and telling, yeah, shoot that guy! No, uh, th those were the uh, those were the Marines that wore the brown pants that day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't really know what did get picked up right here. I guess it was Liberator because there was a dead stalker corpse in front of it, and we see disruptors hitting the map. Uh-huh, and there's actually a mule that has just been sitting there for idle at this third base of the Terran, so, um, that, that's... See some vacancy. Good. No vacancy. 
And this is actually a pretty big pickup by Fight Some Crime. He's gonna go ahead and kill off that Starport. Factory gonna be floated away, but kind of the wrong way. And these Stalkers definitely getting some free shots there. He's gotta be really careful. That is not set on fire, but really big pickups there. Well, look at this run by of Marines and Marauders, but totally shredded by those uh, plus one uh, charge zealots. These are so strong if you don't have a big bio ball. Yeah. If you have. If you have a lot of Marauders and Marines, they just disappear. But if you don't have that certain amount of units, mm -hmm. they just kill you without even noticing that there was anything against them. Bio so is a, definitely a little bit of a glass We have cannon. a big triple drop in the main base. Marines, Marauders just get unloaded. The overcharge is trying to work against it, but he is already in the mineral line. Probes are getting pulled away. The Disruptor hits quite something. The Dark Shrine gets focused out. Where's the army? He has to run all the way back to this maze. And since he played SimCity right here, he can't even save his Nexus. The main is down. The Medibags charge out and leave the Marines to fight. Okay. Uh, that's nothing that Jeremy and the German Armed Force would have done. And he is even losing those Medibags. But look at all this warp gates unpowered. The main not mining. This takes a lot of force from the Protoss because he cannot warp in that much. He's missing units right now. Dude, this is huge. Uh, Sugar definitely doing a lot of damage there. I don't really see what Fight Some Crime is going to, to do offensively because he's only got half the army of his opponent. He has got to hunker down on this four base advantage and really seize control of the fact that he is shut down the the higher tier tag the factory one of the starports and we, the sugar's got two 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 upgrades yeah and sugar is heading for the fusion core for advanced ballistics uh, i guess uh, to um have even more stressful fights with liberators and we see a big doom drop just passing this observer i hope fight some crime had a look at the minimap because this is something you should know about Four medivacs full of, well, not fun for him, are heading towards his base. And he already had a punch into his, his, his uh, testicles. I he think those four are going to go into the main. Because look, look, man, there's yeah. actually uh, some of these marine marauders going... Uh, towards the th a fourth. Yeah, this could be like this a kind of split bait. push. This is, this is just the bait to, uh, to distract him. And now you see him unloading in the main end. I guess this is a dead base again. Maybe he can kill off the gateways as well. And look at the army. He's just getting back and sees... Oh, There's I'm also Liberator the getting cleaned up in the, the natural there as well. Wow. So three... Sugar is Sugar's just everywhere. And as you know, Sugar is not good here. Two Nexuses Sugar's actually following, falling at the exact same time there. Really and good pickups there by Sugar. And he is evacuating. This no real big loss for him. He can just fight it on. Yeah. Um, he did lose like them. one medevac worth of army, but totally, totally worth it, man. <laughs> Look at this army supply. <laughs> Hardly 70 to 104. He's uh, in front of workers. He could. Well, actually, he's taken another expansion. He could have done that so way let, earlier. Let's talk recap here for just a second. There's really three categories you can excel in, in in StarCraft. You can excel in economy, you can excel in army, you can excel in technology. In all what three if, categories right now, Sugar's winning. Yeah. So, how to come back? Not even DTs will help here. The th third Nexus is uh, focused down and this Marauder power. He's not even caring about uh -huh. the Stalkers, he just wants to kill the base. And, well, that's a gone Nexus. Yeah. I, I really have to think to myself, uh, when did I see a game where nobody GG'd with three or four Nexus down? When was yeah. the last time that happened? Well, if I we... Mean, there's been four Nexuses killed, only two structures killed, by uh by fight some crime <laughs> at all in this game i i don't care about your your pilots i just kill your pain base right I mean, he goes yeah. straight for the nuts this is this is awesome and and look at the, i mean he's kind of macroing behind this but um he's just starting free free 
I think that's a little mistake because he could have started that like one minute ago. We could have it almost mm -hmm. finished. But I guess he was busy microing. And then if you see the army right here and the, the number of barracks he just has to rebuild his army, there's no way this, the Protoss can sustain this, this pressure really long. Um, as long yes. as, as, as he is not getting the ultra immensive power hits with the disruptors. This is his only chance. And I get the DPS is just too big. Oh, okay. That was quite a good hit, but. That more was to come. pretty good. More to come, more to come, man. <laughs> the Stalkers are doing a great job. Definitely having a little bit of a better concave. Some of the Stalkers were in the back, but. Definitely. Nice feedbacks! The three minibags heading to the main just got feedback to death. They're just gone. So Two minutes sick. That's a sick action from Fight Some Crime. He is actually making his way kind of back into the game. Dude. He killed a lot of army with, with that feedback, I tell you. Sugar has definitely lost the most in terms of army supply here. Um, 16,000 uh, lost for Sugar, 14,000 lost for Fight Some Crime. Um, Fight Some Crime definitely working his way back in terms of upgrades. 3 3 will be completing soon, but. Fight some crime might be attacking here. This could be an offensive push. Yeah, if he hits before that 3-3 three, three completes, man. The thing is, how does he deal with liberators? I mean, Archons are short range. Uh, yeah, stalkers, okay. Stalkers are not that much, so you can focus something out, really. And the Disruptor doesn't even have enough range to reach to the uh, bio forces when liberators zone him out. So, actually, he is... He's dead. Yeah. If, he, if, he fight, if he fights the army head on, he's dead. He needs to buy time with with harassment or something like that. He needs attack. He needs phoenixes. He needs uh, tempest. He needs anything with long range to get these liberators out of the air. Or he just kills off the liberators one at a time. He's actually really weakened one of those. But what he could do is just completely run around this. Um, as the Terran takes his high ground. Um, he's kind of giving up his own fourth base, his own third base. Those yeah, are potential up, targets. He picked up two liberators there, but uh, he has really to be care careful with those uh, disruptors. This is the only reason this bioforce is not stimming into his face. Uh, you, you see, Sugar wants hammer down on on this army, mm -hmm. but, but he can't because of the disruptors. And uh, as you can see. As you know, the longer this game goes, and the uh, closer both players get to 200 supply, the better it is for the Protoss. Yeah, Fleet opinion. Beacon actually completing right now. Four fights yeah. and crime, but Sugar building two bases. Ultra, ultra late game, I think you're absolutely right. Fights and crime is going to be in a better position. We do have Colossi out on the map, and some really good pickups on those Liberators. All but like three liberators are dead and oh, all that, the oh, Disruptor got uh, got killed before the purifying Nova really got off. That would have been a massive hit. But now there's just Colossi. No machine left, and he's just pushing. Oh well, uh, kind of overstimmed his units right there. So maybe there is a chance of a little trade. Two Colossi have killed, and the third one extremely the bruised. The, the Colossi did almost no damage, in my opinion. Yeah. They, they, the range was just too short. And look at this army. This is left. Two disruptors are built. And this uh, pile of overcharge is everything that keeps him from dying right now. And look what's streaming uh, across the map. This is a lot of Terran. What the hell Dude. just... Ah, these Liberators cannot die but they are dying too with stalkers coming up on the flank stalkers he are is. going to get killed off yeah. but this is not in my army the bio itself would even though they are archons now but i don't see him winning right here okay maybe maybe sugar should uh, just gather his units just once uh, <laughs> because if he is like streaming in this is like playing overwatch overwatch with noobs just don't stream in. Go, go as a team. Go as six or more. 
Oh, lo even losing some Menevex on the... I mean, look at the supplies, he's almost even again. Dude. This is... He is what giving the hell is Fight going Some Crime on? a chance. He is giving Fight Some Crime a chance. I think Fight Some Crime was definitely the favorite player going into this game. Sugar gaining some advantages with that odd he proxy build. But yes, in the end, he overextended. And Fight Some Crime proving himself to be the late game Gosu in this matchup. Yeah, you can... And he is uh, now working on his uh, plus three attack, which is important, but I don't see him uh, saving this base in the uh, bottom left, which is important for him because this is, uh, if you check the other bases, this is the only one really uh, having a bigger mineral count and maybe making him survive in this potential late game. He is trying to make something out of this uh, Stalker Archon army he has right there but while that's happening those marines just kill that nexus which mm -hmm. is so important fight some crime yeah fight some crime definitely losing that fifth base um he did a little bit of harassment um kills off a few uh scvs with a charge lot but <sighs> loses a base for it yeah that's that's a bad trade yeah <laughs> always always you don't lose a base for two probes. Oh well. <laughs> uh, well, this... nice pickup right here. Uh, he actually gets uh, the two medivacs, so the trade got a little bit better. But he's still in lack of, uh, well, money. He had two and a half thousand minerals a minute uh, a few seconds ago, and now he dropped by 1k. And sugar is uh, the sugar daddy again because he has more bank. <laughs> and, uh, but look at the supplies, some fights of crime is uh, had. He has overtaken him within the last minutes. Yeah, this man. Is, uh, Starting I mean, to favor the Protoss. Maybe he has a, 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 a chance to fight. The, those Marauders here die in the... Total He's got to be careful not to lose the High Templar or these Colossi. They're really oh. good Psy Storms there. Yeah, even though the Terran tried to split, he, now the Colossi are kind of paying off, but he still needs to uh, think uh, about a solution against those Liberators. If these get more, and as soon as the Terran hits like 50 Liberators, mm -hmm. you cannot kill him. You cannot kill him anymore. You need Tempest for that. Yes, indeed. But really good stalkers the, the planetary fortress choosing to target the one one charge lot in that army uh, the, actually there are two others but the, no, I no, guess but it wasn't it wasn't actually like with the army at that moment uh, it, okay <laughs> he, he saw his chance for uh, you know rule one for zealots don't be alone and he he didn't get sorted out <laughs> we we see the first two tempests uh, on the way for the protos but um, well this will slow down the army of fight some crime so maybe sugar can do a little bit more of uh, harassment then but at the moment he's losing one base and he has to care about these protos army the, yeah. the stalker count is so big that his liberators really have a problem with uh, positioning themselves correctly in a way that they don't just die right away. We, have, we had two Dark Templars trying to make uh, work at the planetary fortress at the top right, but um, eventually get scanned away. So Liberators are actually doing a great job defending the high ground, defending this planetary fortress, defending the this background. Look just getting sandwiched. Yes, indeed. So the Liberators have completely secured oh, and, this planetary fortress. And Miss Rally Tempest! Miss Rally Tempest, this is expensive, my friend! Yes. <laughs> ah. The Liberator surround is gorgeous. And nothing you see every day, as seen on Polygon TV. <laughs> yes, yes. Polygon TV, that is what we should call ourselves. No longer Polygon Gaming, we're Polygon TV. I love it, man. I love it. 
Well, we do have sugar with basically twice the army supply of his opponent. But not quite able to kill off the space. It's a little brutal. Yeah, it's... But if he is really... The problem is that the reinforcement is taken into account uh, when you see the armies. The Dark Templars here did quite some work, mm -hmm. but the Stalkers just standing in the Liberator shots. And I can tell you, these lasers hurt. If, does he have upgrades for air? Not yet, but this is 75 damage a shot. So the Dark Templars did their job. Seven kills and eight kills now. Find some crime. Uh, gives the GG. Yeah, Sugar okay. actually sniping the best player on Risen. Wow. In the second so. best of seven, that was Risen's only, like, ace card. I don't understand why don't Fight Some Crime out. was sent out first, but he has tapped out. Yeah, he tapped out because he lost uh, 16 probes right there. Uh, besides the fight, because there was a run by, so um, he was economically uh, on the ground or in the cellar at least. Well, yeah, that that's true. But it was six bases pro toss against five bases. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.